Hi, I'm Dana Barrett, and this is Commerce TV. If you're a parent, you've probably already figured out that there's no right way to raise a child. Everyone's circumstances are different, and every child is different. But one thing I think we can all agree on is the importance of education and the impact your capacity for learning can have on your entire life. That said, one of the challenges today's parents face is knowing how involved to get. You want your kids to be independent, but you still want to be there to support them and make sure they get help when it's needed. So joining me today to talk about ways to help your kids improve their grades and actually enjoy school are the owners of Smart Moves Tutoring, Angela Avery and Chris Fuller. Welcome to the show, you two. Thank you. Thank you for having us. So before we talk about uh, schoolwork and learning specifically, let's talk about some of the basics like nutrition and sleep and TV watching. What are some of the important things we can do at home to kind of get our kids in the right place? Well, I think there's one major thing, particularly around nutrition that you can do. Um, one is breakfast. Breakfast is very important. Just like it's important for adults, it's critically important for children. Uh, kidshealth.org put out a study and students who eat breakfast do do better. And as we know, some breakfast is better than no breakfast. However, there's some things that are better for you. For example, um, definitely incorporate the eggs in the breakfast with the protein. You really want to get their brain power going and, and, and engaged early in the day. Also, in the afternoon, there's smart snacks that we like to recommend. Um, many of those things will help brain function, oxygen, and once again, help them in the classroom. So they've gotten something good to eat, good right. start. Hopefully they've gotten some sleep. Right. Do you limit TV? It really depends. It really depends because there are educational um, TV programs. Yeah. And they're out there, definitely. But of course, anything in excess is, is bad for you. So sure. you do want to limit TV just like you want to limit donuts. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. So you don't want to cram your pride and joy full of junk. Yeah. And there's junk on TV just like there's junk on plates and uh, in stores and everywhere else. Let's talk about moods and behavior. Uh, if your kid just hates doing homework and they're cranky and they're complaining, what can we do to kind of get over that hurdle? Right. Well, kids are just like adults. Um, for mm -hmm. us, it's our morning cup of coffee. That's what does it for us. Morning cup of coffee, afternoon cup of coffee. Um, that gets us through our day. Five o'clock glass of wine. Five o'clock glass of wine, <laughs> right. <laughs> All of those things help, help us, so we have to be those things for our students. So we call it the power of positivity. Okay. You mm -hmm. have to be in the morning positive. Mm -hmm. Afternoon during homework, positivity and enthusiasm. Late at night before they go to bed, positivity and enthusiasm. You have to pour those things back into your student. So I know with a lot of families that all sounds well and good, but they're, you know, two parents working, uh, you know, they're struggling maybe to have more than one kid, so they've got multiple kids that they're dealing with homework issues, and they finally just decide, okay, I need help, I can't do it myself. Um, how do they know when is that right time to make the leap of, I can't do it myself, I'm going to go outside and get a tutor, get help? Right. Well, three major factors I always say play into it, and there's no exact science. For every family, it's going to be very different, very different. So three major things. One, do you have time? And if you have five or six kids and you're both working full-time jobs, it's probably very little time to sit down with every individual student. So one. Two, uh, you have to have the ability. Uh, you can sit down with them all Sunday long. If you don't know what you're doing, you guys are both going to be confused and frustrated. Right. And that leads to number three, frustration. If you're frustrated with uh, what's going on, chances are they're frustrated with what's going on as well. So let's say I've gotten to that point. I know I need to get some help. I know I need my kids to get somebody that isn't going to be frustrated, that is going to have time and might actually know something about math or physics right. or whatever. How do I know which tutor is right for me or what kind of service is good for me? To be able to match a tutor with a student based on their, their learning style is really critical. Um, I would say definitely a company who cares and having qualified tutors. Yeah. You know, qualified, certified, um, caring people, I would say, would be the key things. Well, I think that's great information, and I personally give all the parents out there permission to go out and get some help. You cannot it's do okay. it all yourself. It's, it's okay. okay. So for more information on getting help for your kids or just some good tips and advice, uh, go to smartmovestutoring.com. Or, or check them out on Facebook. Definitely check us out on Facebook, uh, Smart, Moves Tutor, Smart Moves Tutoring Atlanta, and Twitter. We're on Twitter as well. Smart Moves Tutor is our handle. That's right. All right. Well, this has been Commerce TV, and Commerce TV is a production of the Commerce Club here in downtown Atlanta. I'm Dana Barrett. We'll see you next time.